I have a confession. I was wrong about all of it. You see, for the last three years, I've been pursuing my dream and it's been going pretty well. I've worked with triple platinum artists, YouTubers with millions of subscribers and more Spotify artists with more millions of streams. And yet in all of that, I was still very wrong. So the question is, what was I wrong about? To answer that, we need to go back to 2020 where it all started. The year was 2020 and I had just quit my job to pursue my dream. What was my dream? I didn't know. But I knew I could achieve my dream if I just stayed consistent. The idea of making money online, being your own boss and travel the world was too good to not risk. So there I was with the dream in my hand and vision on my horizon. No one could stop me except myself. You see, the first year was filled with doubt, anxiety, stress, and uncertainty if I was even up to whatever this was. I was unsure where work would come from, and if I did get a job, I wasn't even confident that I could do it well. And that's how the first year went. During my second year, I became a little bit more busy. People would ask to hang out, and I would respond, I wish, but I'm busy. And my friendships took a hit. I started having less fun, and work kind of took over my whole calendar. I would remember I would spend weeks on weeks in my room editing, until, I don't know, until I decided to go swim or something. All that to say is I just worked a lot and my mental health took a hit from it. Which leads me to my third year, my successful year, where my ego started to grow because I started to get bigger clients and I thought everybody was looking at me saying, wow, good job, when in reality, no one actually cared. You see, pursuing your dreams does this weird thing where you think that everybody cares and you think that what you're doing is the most important thing, when in reality, it's not. You see, and that's what I did for a whole year. I consistently put my work in front of people thinking that what I was doing was way more important. And in reality, I just missed out on memories and fun times with friends. And all of that hit me when I was in New York and I had just finished working a really fun job and I wanted to go to my favorite pizza place. And as I was walking back to my apartment, I texted my friend who was back home in California and asked him if he wanted to meet me for pizza, which he responded, I'm in California. And I said, Oh yeah, that's right. And in that moment, it hit me that I could be doing something really successful and be living out my dream, but if I don't have anybody to share that with, then what's the point? Which leads me back to my question. What was I wrong about? Thinking my dreams are more important than everything else. No, I mean, yes, but no. Yeah, like, no, but yes, yeah. I was wrong about the pursuit of my dreams and how I went about it which is kind of the title of the video. Stop pursuing your dreams, instead pursue this. So what is this? I think for me, what I realized is I should pursue purpose. I should pursue things that matter. Now, I can't tell you what those things are in your life, but I can use a gauge for myself in my own life. For example, if I have an opportunity to work or spend time with my friends who might need me, I should pursue them. I should pursue the things that matter and the things that are more life-giving. Or if I'm slowly starting to get burnt out, I should take a break. I should pursue the things that will give me longevity, opposed to thinking that if I don't keep going and grinding, that these dreams will never come to pass. Because that's not true. Slow is fast and ultimately if you're pursuing something with a purpose you will get to your destination one way or another if you're pursuing your dreams just for yourself which i have found is very likely a lot of times people including myself have pursued their dreams simply out of selfish ambition and that will leave you feeling burnt out and you'll give up but if you pursue things out of purpose, like I wanna build a career, I wanna build something that can support a family, you will find yourself persevering through a lot of difficult times. And guess what? You don't need to be the best, which I know sounds weird, but I feel like we're constantly bombarded with everyone telling you, get better, be the best, don't stop, grind, 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 grind. And it's like, well, maybe I just wanna like, be good at what I'm doing and make people feel happy and inspire others. And if that means I'm the best in their eyes, that's fine. But if that doesn't mean I'm the best in the world's eyes, that's also fine. It's okay to not be the best. Yeah, that's that was for myself, I feel like. But yeah, I think that I think I could probably keep going on and sharing all this stuff. But in summary, pursue things that matter, like the people in your life, memories, fun times, sometimes going through hardships, pursuing skills and talents that will benefit you in the long run. And don't just pursue these dreams that are self-focused because ultimately they're not going to satisfy you. They're going to want they're going to make you want. Yeah, I don't know. I should probably stop there. I keep stuttering. All right, love you guys. See you in the next one.